Hello everybody and welcome to Trade with Precision free newsletter. It's the 2nd of June 2015 and I'm Tamar Mayer. Today I want to take you through some commodities market that are very high on my watch list. So first up I'm going to look at heating oil and what we can see here from the daily, the daily has been pulling back and now reversing back down and started to downtrend again. We also rejected this very strong level around the 2 mark or the 2.01 and now we're starting to roll over. I'm looking for shorting opportunities. Now any shorting opportunities that I'll be looking to take I'll need to cover my first target before this level of support and resistance but I do like to see the market going lower and test this previous low over here. So this is the first market that I'm after looking for trading opportunities on the two hours, four hours, eight hours, looking for pullbacks and then a continuation of this downtrend. The next market that I really love the look of is copper, high grade copper. So let's take a look into that beautiful down trend we had been we had this pull back over here on the daily we spent a couple of days around this area creating this level over here right around this area of the around the 29 level once we broke through that level we just been smashing down prices going lower and lower and lower so I'm looking for opportunity to join this really really beautiful downtrend and look at the four hours for example this um, opportunities of pulling Pulling back into the sell zone, moving away, pulling back into the sell zone, bearish candle, move away, pulling back, bearish candles, moves away, all through and through this trend is exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm looking for opportunities as the market is pulling back into the sell zone and continuing. Beautiful, beautiful downtrend here on copper. Next one that I'm interested in is soya bean meal. And what we've seen here on soya bean is again quite similar to what we saw on copper around the 29 level. We had these, these 300 levels sitting around here. Let me just make it a bit bigger and mark this level. So we spent a couple of weeks around this area trying to break down and, pu and pushing higher, trying to pull back, pushing higher. You can see over here, we actually looked quite bullish on this day. We had a rejection of this low. But yesterday we just smashed down through that price and now we closed much below that level. What I'm looking for is a pullback into that area, into this breakout area and then a continuation of this downtrend. So to do that I will go again down the time frame. So what I'll be looking at here is either a PLT or a cluster trade in that area and then a continuation of the downtrend. We can also see that what we've got at this area is last week low and also yesterday low as well so very strong level and an opportunity around here is exactly what I am after. Next market is natural gas. Now natural, natural gas again quite similar had a nice pullback into this level of around 3, 3.1 rejected it completely and now starting to roll over. It has been quite big candles happening here on uh, natural gas but if you look down the time frame let's perhaps bring down the two hours we can see that we have quite a steady nice move pulling back over here into the cells on very very uh, strong selling pressure over here we didn't even get to pull back my stronger we basically went sideways and then we pulled back again so now looking for again opportunities to join this downtrend probably I'll wait for uh, a bit of a more pullback probably on the four hours on the end on the eight hours because we do need to see some pullback coming in we had a couple of days of very strong selling over here I'd like to see the market coming closer into its averages on the daily for trading opportunity on this market can't go buy commodities without having a look at oil so let's take a quick look into that and oil it's a very interesting thing what is going on here we've been in an uptrend over here we had this big pullback if we'll take a look at the monthly we can see that in the monthly we're basically pulling back into this downtrend so let's just bring it a bit bigger and what you can see very very big sell off all through this month and then a pullback into the sell zone currently this month is quite indecision even though we do have um, a red candle over here it's still quite an indecision the body is in the middle and the weeks from both sides are almost equal so looking for even a bigger pullback into the sell zone we can even see the market coming up into this level 
level of 7,000 will still be staying in the downtrend on the week on the monthly let's have a quick look on the weekly now with the weekly we just broke this previous high so we've got a low a high a lower low and then straight into a higher high so on the weekly we are not in any kind of trend however looking at the the candles here for the weekly we had rejection here of the high but we also had rejection here of the low what it tells us is where we are currently trading within a range so let's take a look at the daily and what we can see from the daily is that how strong this range is so let me just mark that down so looking at this area the mid of this area of the range around the 61 the lower of the range this around here around the 58 and really there's the highest level that we can see at the top of where the market has been trading around the 63 now currently the market is in a downtrend we have lower lows and really still a lower high but we do look quite bullish we rejected the low here again had a very very bullish candle here on Friday indecision to bullish candle and now looking for continuation so what our plan is for oil so I'd wait to see if we can break this level of 61 and then I would look for trading opportunities up until this level of 63 however if the market will show a rejection candle of this level of 61 then I'll be looking for trading opportunity until this level of 58 now when we look at it from the daily perspective we don't really have enough for the market to go to get our first target and this is why we trade any market any time frame so what I look to do with that view of where the market is currently in from the um, daily perspective and the weekly and monthly I'll be looking down the time frame I'll be looking at time frames such as 15 minutes one hour two hours to look for trading opportunities depending on how the market reacts to this level of 61 and 58 there's about 300 points in between that could be a lot of uh, distance or opportunities for us on lower time frames now if you would like to know more about how we trade how we utilize different time frame for our advantage then please join us on our next webinar our next webinar is learn a simple six step strategy and what we're going to do there is we're going to give you the complete rule for the precision trend flow strategy we're going to look at full trade setup and trade management and how exactly can we apply this strategy in any market and any time frame we're also going to look at how to identify strong trending markets so you can only focus on the highest probability trades so this webinar is going to run in two different time zones so you can find the one that is most convenient for you so the first one is going to be at 8 p.m Auckland which is 6 p.m Sydney and 9 a.m London and the second one is going to be at 8 p.m London which is 3 p.m New York 5 a.m Sydney and 7 a.m Auckland the next day wishing you a fantastic trading week and I'll speak to you soon bye for now